Hello and welcome to another Haas Tip of the Day. Today we're going to take the guesswork out of setting up live tools on your Haas Turning Center. So I'm excited about doing some tips on our live tool lays. But before we can make those videos, we have to show you how to set up these live tools. If these things aren't set up properly, we're going to struggle with everything else that we do. So let's head over to the assembly area where we've got a naked lathe. We've pulled off the sheet metal so you can get a better view of that live tooling. Well, we've made it back here to our lathe assembly area. We've got a lathe here with the sheet metal removed so we can see our turret better. Now, this is a 12 station hybrid turret. That means that it has room for six VVI 40 holders along with six BOT tool holders. Now, over here, we've got set up a VB24 turret. This is the kind of turret that you'd find on an SS machine. This one has 12 VDI-40 holders along with 12 BOT holders. Now, BOT stands for bolt-on tooling because they bolt along the outside of our turret. Now, what does VDI stand for? Well, it's, it's German and I'm not gonna try and pronounce it for you. Essentially, it stands for Society of German Engineers. Now the 40 in VDI 40 stands for 40 millimeters. That just means that the shank on our VDI tooling is 40 millimeters diameter. Now these tools come in two basic flavors, axial and radial. Now our axial tools are gonna drill or tap along the Z axis of our lays along with the spindle axis. Our radial tools will drill, tap, mill along the X axis of our lathe. We're going to start off by showing you how to set up our axial tools. Now our axial tool holders are really easy to set up. In fact, from the factory, really all we should have to do is go to our offset page, highlight the tool that we're trying to line up, and press the F2 key. That's going to write the x-axis spindle center line to our offset page for that tool. Now, trust but verify. I want to make sure that that value is correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a coaxial indicator and I'm going to mount it in my spindle. Now we've got an adapter here that makes this really easy. You can make one for yourself. With this adapter, we can hold our coaxial indicator in almost any size collet or even with a three-jaw chuck. Once we've mounted our indicator, we can come in and indicate off the ID of one of our VDI tooling holders. Now I like to use a boring bar holder because of its nice ground ID surface. Now you can also indicate off the outside of a pin mounted into a VDI holder or even off a tool itself. Now when this indicator is in the holder, you can adjust it up and down until you find the x-axis center line. If you happen to have a y-axis lathe, you can also make small adjustments to the y-axis to get your tools just perfect. So what if you find out that your F2 x-axis center line value is not correct? Well, if that's off for any reason, you can call your local HFO, they can come out and change the parameters necessary to put that value back in line. Okay, so we indicated off the ID of our tool holder. Why didn't I just indicate off the hole in our turret? Well, there's a reason for this. The hole in our turret is not round. It's not a circle, it's actually an oval. What we've got here is a perfect 40 millimeter hole and about a millimeter below that, we've got a second larger hole that was put in for clearance. If we try and indicate off that hole, we're gonna have a really hard time. And whatever value we get, is not gonna be usable for a tool offset. We must put a VDI holder into the turret and indicate off that. Now, when we put that VDI tool into our turret, we're gonna be tightening an M10 socket head cap screw, driving a wedge up against the side of our VDI tool holder. This is gonna force our tool holder up against that perfect 40 millimeter surface as well as drive that VDI tool tighter up against the face of our turret, giving us a nice, solid hold. 